Hello, I'm Atuba George. Now, I've begun to share with you on how to enter this year, how to, how to, how to prepare your heart to have a glorious year. And yesterday I told you one thing you must settle is that God is your source. Now, Jesus said, like I shared to you yesterday, we should ask God daily for our daily bread. Now, have you done that today? If you haven't, it's time to do it now. You know, you're just supposed to say, Father, I, I receive today my daily bread. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I let angels minister to me and they bring it from wherever it is, even today. See? And that's how to pray. Now, it doesn't matter if you have billions in your accounts. It doesn't matter if you have estates all over. Listen, you must keep depending on the Lord on a daily basis. You see, because, you see, wealth don't define you. It is God that defines you. I'm telling you the truth. If wealth, if you allow wealth to define you, then you will lose yourself. Now, that's what the Bible meant. What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and to lose his soul? Now, in that scripture, Jesus wasn't talking about what will it profit a man to have plenty of money and still go to hell. Now, that's not he was primary. He was talking about you lose control of your soul. In other words, what controls you now? Money controls you now. That, oh, I, I, can't, I can't do this anymore. My status will not allow me to do this. Oh, I, I no, no, no. See, you, you're losing your soul. See, you are supposed to be in charge of your soul. So you, you eat what you know is right to eat. You do, you go to places that you know is right to go to. I meet certain people say, oh, why are you doing that? You know, you know, at my level now, there, there, there are some people I associate with that I have to, I have to, come on, you are losing your soul already. You know, you find someone who doesn't drink, you know what I mean drink, who doesn't drink alcohol. And you see him drink, you say, what's going on? You know, because of the kind of people I work with now, I, 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 not, I not like I drink so much. You are losing your soul. Now, I'm not talking about whether alcohol will take you to hell. Or I'm talking about you were not doing this before. So what is going on now? You are losing control of your soul. And you know why? Because you don't believe that God is your source. That's the truth. So you are losing yourself. And when you begin to lose yourself like that, you, you can't be available for God to use you anymore. Now, sometimes God will send you to certain places. God will send you to mingle with certain people. Why? Because there is something he wants to do through you in their lives. There is a light he wants you to shine in their lives. But when you don't understand and you feel now that I'm with these people, ah, maybe they are the ones that are going to lift me up. Maybe they are the ones that are going to hold me. Let me, let me adjust my life to please them. You are beginning to lose your soul. Are you getting what I'm saying? The light of God beams into your soul. Now that, see, see, I want to get this. The spirit in us is the spirit of God. There is no my spirit and then the Holy Spirit. No, it's one spirit. See? So it's the Holy Spirit that is living inside of me. Now while I fellowship with God, something is taking place. He is nurturing. The Holy Spirit in me is nurturing my soul. It is maturing my soul. So as my soul is growing, it is gaining confidence. It is gaining confidence. Now, that confidence my soul is beginning to gain is what I now use to influence my world. So when I say something, I mean what I said. Now, why am I bold enough to say that thing? Because I got it from the place of the Spirit that this is the truth. But then it will pass through my soul to speak it. Now I say, no, I'm not talking about you, you, you speak it in prophecy. You know, I pray, you know, sometimes you pray, 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 and then your spirit is high. And then you and then you say those things, and then you, you walk away from there and you say, hey, God, hey, I have said it too. I hope they will not crucify me for this. I know it's the spirit of God that helped me. No, that's not what I'm I'm talking about when your soul, your mind has matured to take those things and say, This is the truth. And you stand by it. Listen, that's how your character is formed. And that's what God needs so much from you this year. He needs you to walk by character. See, because he is beaming forth the light in you. 
Now, if there is no character, he doesn't want you to say, I, I, like, I love that guy. You know, he does his job well. But see, in this area, forget it. it just, just, no, 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 no. God wants everything to be in place. That's why I'm talking to you about your soul. And the only way you can put your soul to rest is when you settle it in your heart that God is your source. You don't know how this thing, how powerful this thought is until the Spirit of God begins to open your understanding. Like I told you yesterday, one way you're going to really know that God is your source, especially when God has blessed you, is when you sit down and say, you know what? If God asks me to walk out of everything I have right now, can I do it without thinking twice or without thinking less of myself? If you are able to answer that question, then you know that your soul has gained that place of maturity and you are ready to walk with God in anything. This is not a season God is calling people that will eventually fail. No, He is building you up and setting you up as a standard and then He is going to use you to bring glory to the face of the earth. Praise God. Your light is shining. I've got to stop here. But listen, I'm going to continue on this next week. Praise God. This is Atuba Judge. Have a wonderful weekend. God bless you. Bye-bye.